the group calling themselves the Majid and led by Hudumwa, first of all, condemned the inhuman and violence attack meted out to the constituency Nasara coordinator. Them that act in no, in no uncertain terms, irrespective of, the, uh, irrespective of the magnitude of the crime he was committing at the time of the night, we believe strongly that he should have just been arrested and handed over to the chief or better still to the police. They accuse the constituency executives of not being true to their words, but rather engage in hide and seek with the supporters, resulting in the unfortunate class. Unfortunately, they could not complete the exercise and have agreed to start from Desme the next day. The constituency executives rather went to Fatu instead of Desme as agreed with the regional reps. The reps heard of that and cautioned them not to conduct any elections there without their supervision in the interest of fairness. But they refused and went ahead with their agenda, which resulted into the clash, the clashes leading to our supporters suffering various degrees of injuries. They also jumped to the defense of the Apostle Minister and the security personnel deployed to the area. The consensus secretary cited security reasons as the, as the basis of not conducting elections at Kunkoko, Kusale, Desme, Puluma, and Kupuluma, and other communities. Now, if the regional minister deploys security to beef up the men on the grounds to support the committee to do their work, does that amount to abuse of power? No. no. Did the constituency secretary know exactly what abuse of power is? No. The constituency executives are aware they will lose this year's election in totality because the good people of Susala West, because the good people of Susala West MPP are tired of their lies, fake motor keys, fights, propaganda, and several years of autocratic leadership uh, leadership